This message is produced by TruthFromGod.com, which is one of hundreds of messages that can be read, heard, and watched at TruthFromGod.com. Before ending, in every decade, some Bible guru predicts the return of Christ is imminent. I've seen this from 1950 until today. There were many that claimed the end of the world would be in 2012, according to the Mayan calendar. Others prophesied Christ would return in this same year. Some of these still have this rubbish on their websites. God tells us about these people in Deuteronomy 18.22, when a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord Yahweh. If the thing followeth not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord Yahweh hath not spoken. But the prophet has spoken it presumptuously. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. These self-professed seers of all truth are nothing but blind leaders and are full of all manner of presumptuousness, which carries a heavy penalty, according to Numbers 15.30. But the soul that doth aught presumptuously, whether he be born in the land or a stranger, the same reproacheth the Lord Yahweh, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. It's time to do a little fruit inspecting and get out the pruning shears. Why are so many led astray by these presumptuous prophets? It's because they do not understand the plan of God. The Yahweh has things to accomplish before ending this present age. No one seems to pay any attention to Matthew 22, 24, Mark 12, 36, Luke 20, 42 through 43, or Acts 2, 34 through 35, which are direct quotations of Psalms 110, 1. The Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord Yahweh, Sit thou on my right hand, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. What does this have to do with the end of time or these last days? Hebrews 1, 1 through 3 has something to say about this. God, Yahweh, who at sundry times in diverse manners Speak in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, Yahweh, whom he, Yahweh, hath appointed heir of all things, by whom, Yahweh, also he, Yahweh, made the worlds, who Yahweh being the brightness of his, Yahweh's glory, and the expressed image of Yahweh's person, and upholding all things by the word of his, Yahweh power, when he, Yahweh had by himself, Yahweh purged our sins, set down on the right hand of the majesty on high. This is said again in verse 13. Sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Now, none of this has happened yet according to Hebrews 2.8. But now we see not yet all things put under him. But what can we see? This is stated in Hebrews 2, 9 through 17. 
but we see Jesus, Yahweh, who is made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. For it became him for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons unto glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. For both he that sanctifieth and they who are sanctified are all of one family, Elohim, for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren, in the midst of the church, Kahal, Ecclesia, very elect, will I sing praise unto thee. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I and the children, Elohim, which God hath given me, for as much then as the children, Elohim, are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that hath the power of death, that is the devil, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Wherefore, in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. As Christ was made perfect through suffering, we also must go through the same process are reminded of this in Hebrews 6, 1, which says, Let us go on to perfection. And again, in Hebrews 12, 23, which says, That we are come to the general assembly, Adam, the whole gathering of the racial nation, and church, Kahal, the leaders of the racial nation, of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect. It is the church, the kahal, the adopt, the very elect, the body, the leaders, the administrators of the firstborn, which are made perfect, whose names are written in heaven. It's pointed out in Hebrews 12, 2. All this is going on while Jesus, Yahweh is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. He will not rise up and return to earth till his body of administration is perfected for they are the ones who accompany him. They are the very elect that reign and rule over the kingdom. Revelation 19.10 through 16. The declaration of Romans 8.18 will possess our very being. For I reckon the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us. This is the time in which Yahweh is forming, perfecting the body of Christ, the Kahal, the leaders, the very elect, his administrators, and Christ will not return until this work is finished. 
the term Adah and Kahal are new to you, then go back to the messages. What is the church and the bride and body of Christ? Look around. What perfection do you see? Do you think that this step in the plan of Yahweh is finished or is still a work in progress? If you believe that the body is perfected, then you'll not be in this body of administration. For if you were perfected, you would not still be in the earthly schoolhouse of learning. I've got news for all Christianites. You will not be perfected simply because your flesh body dies. The grave perfects nothing. This is stated many times in the Bible. Yet Christianism has adopted a pipe dream that just because someone gets planted in a hole in the ground, that they magically achieve perfection. Get a grip. Such nonsense is never taught in the Bible, but being perfected through suffering is its main thing. All that live godly in Christ shall suffer perfection of the body of administration has a long way to go before it is finished and Christ will remain seated at the right hand of God until this is accomplished. There will be an ending, but the body is finished before. Don't get caught up in presumption and dragged into the ditch by false prophets. If you see the before ending, then you are being perfected for his body of administration. This message is produced by TruthFromGod.com, which is one of hundreds of messages that can be read, heard, and watched at TruthFromGod.com.